hey guys welcome back to a new video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use the data mate um, application so this will let you have full control of the database in your game so the advantages of this is that you can edit and view and update any of the uh, user data before beginning please subscribe we already hit 1k subscribers that means a lot but uh, let's keep going and yeah so this is created by iCran he's a web developer and I'll leave the link to the um, page in the description if you want to take a look at it but um so he has technically included all the features as you can see list data store list entries get entry set entry delete increment edit and export entries as a SQL and JSON and XL access so um, even he even has included a full-on video tutorial uh, you could even go check that but I'm also gonna try my best to explain what everything is about yeah let's begin first let's start by um, creating a bulk brains account so um, to create one of that account you can go to the bulkbrains.com and click on this user icon and uh, register if you already have an account you can log in let me just create an account and then we'll head on to the next part so once you have created the account this is what you'll get with um, your username and um, the subscriptions uh, you have a setting as well if you want to change something um, but since you created the account now we need to um, have a Roblox game so we can implement uh, the data made uh, data made application to the game like this as you can see we need to we can set entry and get entry and everything but for that we need to connect our game so let me just start roblox studio and get an example for you guys so as you can see this is a simple script which will give the player uh, coins which is going to be 15 so if i start the game it will show uh, 15 coins so let me just show it to you guys before i add the data store and then we connect it to the website as you can see we have uh, 15 coins saved I mean not saved yet but we're gonna save it so let me show you how to do the saving part as well just in case you are not familiar with it so first we're gonna get the data store service okay so um, data store service is a service inside of Roblox and we get that and then we get something called data store which is uh, data store service get data store and then you put a unique string for this so uh, don't mind my background but just put player stats and now we need to save these coins whenever the player is leaving and load it whenever the player joins so let's uh, first do it whenever the player joins so to do that we're gonna say local success uh, comma error pick off function I'm not gonna explain all of this if you really want to know how this is done I recommend going and watching some tutorials on it before uh, doing watching this video so uh, local success error uh, we are going to be uh, coming back here saying data and data equals to uh, data store get async whoops get async and uh, we are going to be get putting a unique string for this so uh, the unique string is going to be uh, player coins coins dash dot dot uh, player dot user ID and uh, we go out of this if not sucks if not success then one error else if it is a success then uh, coins uh, coins dot value equals to data because the data is going to be the value which the player left with so let me now uh, make a new function for player uh, player removing connect it to a function like that player and let's get local data local leader stats to player find first child uh, leaders leader stats and um, don't forget uh, to put find first child don't put wait for child it will uh, take too much time in the script which will result in uh, uh, latency and which will result in the players data not saving sometimes it happens but uh, leader stats find first child coins oops, oops.
Oops, my bad. My coins. And now again, we're gonna do the same thing as this, right? And instead of get async, we're gonna set async. And uh, the, we're gonna be saving the coins dot value. And uh, we do the same as this if and delete this else. Uh, no, let's just print print data saved. So if it is success, then it'll print the data saved. If it's not, error. Now it's gonna save uh, our game. But before that, we need to publish it. So uh, it will save. So let me just quickly publish it. Um. So let me just name it data store or test or something like that. Just um. And uh, yeah. Let's just turn off team create and create. And one more thing is we need to go to home, game settings, and security, and enable uh, studio access to API services so that it will let us save data stores. And now let's play it and see if the data store is working. So we have zero coins because, yeah, we did not save any data. Now let me just go to the server side, go to the players, data stats and change this coin to like uh, 20 oops 25 and let me go back to the game and let me leave now take quite a while okay data saved now let me join back to see if it works yes as you can see it saves the data so now the data store is set now we'll go to the main part of this video which is gonna be uh, using uh, the bulk brains um, data mate so we are gonna be using this so uh, in the data mate I'll leave all the links in the description don't worry don't be confused and if you have confusion please let me know in the comments so okay so first we need to create a project so when you click on this as you can see it's empty we don't have any projects to look at um, so to do that you click on this so you can go to the home page and there's something called toolbox Click on the toolbox and click on new Roblox. And then you get two things you need to add. So the universe ID and the API key. So let me show you all how to get that. So I'm going to open a new tab and search roblox.com slash develop. And we head over there. Over there, we need to go to the experience we just created. For me, it's data store. Uh, test so we are going to click on these three dots and copy the universe ID and come back and paste the universe ID here for the API key um, we need to click on it and once you're here you need to uh, navigate to um, I'm sorry we don't check it here my bad so we go back to the experience and here you can see something called credentials so click on that and you can create an API key here. Um, so you just click on this, and uh, it gives you an API key, a unique name. So um, you can name it anything you like. I'm gonna just say data store test and description. You can leave it empty if you like, and let's select the API system. This is gonna be data store. Unless you're using an ordered data store, then it's gonna be ordered. But I'm just using a normal data store um, and API at the API system. And uh, you should now search for the experience. So our experience name is uh, data store test. So we just type data store, and as you can see, this is the test data store test and add experience and the operations. This important. So, the operations to add, you are going to be adding all of okay. So, once you have added all of the entry related uh, permissions, then um, that's all you can even give. You'll have this as well if you want. It's just giving them full access. Why not? Let's just give them all the access here. Um, but the most important is all of this. Uh, so once you've done that, what we're going to do is go down and it will ask an IP address. So this part, I'm going to show you what the IP address I'm using and uh, I'll explain what you can use as well. In the IP address, so 
you can really put anything, any IP address you like, like 0 uh, 0 .0 0.0.0.0, but this would not be safe. So what I recommend is the IP address of uh, bulk prints, which is 6.135.1.160, because uh, it's safer than the other IP addresses you're going to put. Um, it's really up to you, but uh, I'm going to use this. And even in the video uh, of the main developers explaining, they recommend this. So I'm going to go with that. And then um, once that's done, we're pretty much done. And don't add the expiration uh, and save and generate key. And the key and everything is generated. We are going to be copying the key and uh, I'm gonna cover this key just in case but uh, I'm gonna come back here paste the key and connect and now I took your project name as it successfully connected I am gonna be putting any name let me just say data store test and create once that's done now you can see it has popped up the project so click on the project and click on data mate and select the project which is data store test so as you can see player stats is finally there and there's no data found because now we need to go into the game and actually set the data so let me just join so when you're in the game um so i have coin string five uh, now let's actually go to the site my bad okay let's go to the site and click on reload and there you go it says player coins so this uh, player coins and this is the user ID of the player so if you're wondering how that is because in the data store as we're saving it we put player coins and the player user ID but I recommend even putting the player name here so that it's more understandable um, so let's go back here and as you can see player coins um, and if you click on get value we get 25 now what I'm going to do here is we are going to be leaving right we're gonna leave and we're gonna go back there and we are gonna click on edit uh edit um so my bad hold on we should click select one thing and then click on increment uh so we will be incrementing uh this entry so we're gonna add 50 more and increment entry um so click on increment entry hold on not really working right now. Let me just reload. Okay, as you can see, it has incremented. Uh, now let's join back here and see if it actually did that. There you go. It worked. So, as you can see now, the coins have gone to 75. So, even if we leave, we still have access to the data. So, the player data. Let me, let's imagine I wanted to make it zero again. Okay, click on it. And... Uh, edit and set the value of 2 okay let's set it to 1 okay click on type 1 and edit entry I'm just multiply I'm just clicking it multiple times because I just want to make sure and now it, as you can see 125 um, I don't know where it went wrong wait so I'm going to click on this it's really hard to so, uh, let me click on this edit and set it to 1 let me just click on as you can see one so uh, let's click on edit and let's put five edit entry click on it once don't all click it it really glitches out five and now let me join in the game here and it should be working and so this is a game breaking uh, I mean game changing thing to handle your data with the players so let me just uh, do one more thing because right now I don't understand who's uh, whose coins are this well I could understand this because um it gives the user ID but it's really confusing so I'm come back here and play coins um and uh, let's even put player dot name and okay this will give us a more clear perspective on what we are dealing with uh now let me just change this to player stats okay let be and join while in the game like while in the game I can reload it as well 
Oops, my bad, my bad. I forgot to uh, update uh, what we changed uh, in the top as well. So let me do that. Okay. Okay, miss one coin. Let me reload. As you can see now, player coins, it's mini crew. Uh, we can delete this entry. Delete it. Um, to delete it, we just reload. It's a minor glitch. I don't know why it didn't delete, but it will delete. It will take some time. But as you can see, player coins, it's mini crews. Coins, get the value. Yes, one coin, which is true. So it really works. So if you have a really huge game and you wanted to manage uh, everyone's data store, this really uh, helpful so I hope you learned something from this video and you're gonna implement it in your own game um, if you have any questions please don't forget to ask it in the comments anyways um, see you guys in the next one peace